Tonight, with so much on the line, both on and off the field, as fans flood into American Family Field. So it absolutely helps to be in the postseason for a whole bunch of reasons. The Brewers know the long-term stakes. Just hours from a now critical public hearing on the controversial $700 million Brewers funding plan meant to keep the team in Milwaukee for the next 27 years. I'm very excited that we can keep baseball in Milwaukee till 2050 if this all, you know, works out. The Republican plan is undergoing changes and will likely need Democratic support, as the bill's author recently said on Upfront. It'd be very close and very tough if we had to do it. Um, I think we're going to need some Dem votes. The money needed for long-term maintenance and upgrades to American Family Field, a stadium the state owns, and money the stadium district board no longer has since the five-county sales tax used to build the ballpark ended in 2020. Brewers principal owner Mark Atanasio Tuesday. Yeah, I've, I've never considered going anywhere else. Uh, sure, we get entreaties. We've had entreaties, you know, probably for a decade from cities that didn't know the nature of our, our lease. And uh, you know, right now our lease runs till 2030. And I think we're, whatever inning it is, it's toward the late innings of making sure we'd be here till 2050 and that's our, our sole focus. Matt, there are a lot of revenue streams with this proposal. So walk us through the specifics of where that money's coming from. So, Joey's part of it includes about seven and a half million dollars a year from Milwaukee and Milwaukee County. That number, though, will likely be lowered to get more Democrats on board. A new poll out tonight commissioned by Visit Milwaukee and MMAC showing about two thirds of Wisconsinites want the governor and Republican lawmakers to reach some sort of compromise. Joyce. We know you'll be sure to follow it. Political Director Matt Smith live in the newsroom tonight.